In this video, we will use the Power Probe 4 to show you how to quickly diagnose a no-start problem on this 2001 Ford Taurus with a 3-liter V6 engine. The first step in our diagnostic chart is to verify and identify the customer's concern. When we attempt to start the vehicle, the vehicle cranks but will not start. The next step asks to verify that the inertia fuel shutoff switch is pushed in. The inertia switch is a safety item that cuts power to the fuel pump in the event of a collision. On this vehicle, the inertia switch is located in the right rear trunk area. We check to see if the inertia fuel shutoff switch is pushed in, and it is. Since the inertia shutoff switch is pushed in, our next step is to check for spark. We install a spark tester to a spark plug wire and crank the engine over. Crank it. We have spark, but when we turn the key on before cranking the engine over, we notice that we didn't hear the fuel pump coming on. After verifying that the inertia switch was pushed in, and verifying that we have spark, our next step is to check for fuel pressure. With a fuel pressure gauge installed to the test port and the key turned on, engine off, we get no fuel pressure. A normal reading for this engine should be between 35 to 65 PSI. Since we don't have any fuel pressure, we need to see if there's power going to the fuel pump. Looking at the schematic, we can test the fuses, PCM power relay, fuel pump relay, PCM, and inertia fuel shutoff switch by back probing the number two terminal of the inertia switch and turning the key to the on position. We should see battery voltage displayed on the power probe for one second due to the PCM grounding the fuel pump relay, and we do. This tells us that all the components and the wiring leading up to the inertia switch are good. Our next diagnostic step asks to check the voltage at the fuel pump harness connector, but the fuel pump connector is underneath the vehicle. Since the Power Probe 4 has the ability to supply battery power or ground to test components, we can simply disconnect the connector at the inertia switch and supply power to the number two terminal to see if the fuel pump operates. We don't hear the fuel pump coming on and we verify it by looking at the fuel pressure gauge. At this point, we're pretty confident that we have a bad fuel pump. We can verify a faulty fuel pump by checking its resistance. Since we know the resistance specification of the fuel pump, we can use the Power Probe 4 feed test mode to check the resistance of the fuel pump at this connector. The feed test mode utilizes Power Probe's ability to be connected directly to the vehicle's battery, which allows us to check resistance of a component directly to ground. We probe the number two terminal of the inertia switch and get approximately 1.2 ohms of resistance. That is well below the specification of 8.5 to 15.5 ohms. With such low resistance, it's possible that the windings inside the fuel pump are shorted together. Looks like we have a faulty fuel pump. After replacing the fuel pump, we attempt to crank the vehicle and it starts. For more information and videos, visit PowerProbe.com.